Hi everyone, so we're just out here uh, near Holmes Crossing again. Uh, we're just collecting some natural materials. We're going to try and make some uh, homemade wreaths, some centerpieces, possibly even some homemade gifts. So we're just out here seeing all the different kind of materials we can find and then we're going to see what we can come up with. About three weeks ago we actually built this a-frame shelter and honestly it's held up pretty yeah. good so if you want to see the how-to check back to a couple videos ago Okay, so we've collected a good amount of materials here already. Um, we did get a lot of stuff from trees that were already either cut down or had fallen down or grasses that have already died off for the season. So something important to keep in mind is that when you are out harvesting natural materials, um, keep in mind to try not damage the plants around you and the ecosystem around you and just really take what you need. Okay, so we have all our material that we collected. Um, and what I'm gonna do is with the smaller frame, I'm gonna make a centerpiece. And then with the bigger frame, I'm gonna make a wreath. So my wreath is gonna consist of um, a lot more green, uh, pine cones. And my strategy is just to kind of layer it all up and make it look nice and full. Okay, so I will be making a centerpiece and you know what? <laughs> okay, so my strategy is that I'm going to make one large wreath with these two frames. Um, I'm mostly going to be using dry materials, more browns with some, some greens in there, so we'll see how it goes. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tucking everything under the wire and then I'm gonna layer it to make it look a little bit fuller so this will be my base. So what I've started doing is just making these little bundles and then I'm going to start tying those off onto my frame and layering them like that and just keep going around and see where we end up. Okay, so I think my base is done. I'm pretty happy with it. I just tucked all the branches into themselves and I mean, it's holding pretty good. Um, there's no wire poking through or anything like that. So I'm ready to put some more decorations on. Well, here's a little bit of a progress shot for my wreath. It's 
slow and steady and very sticky, but it's starting to look pretty good. So here's my finished wreath. Um, I ended up putting a bow on it and just filled in some more. So I went with more of a natural look. Okay, I'm gonna start on my centerpiece. I don't really have a plan yet. I'm just gonna kinda do whatever looks good. Okay, so I've made my mini wreath. It's going to be attached to the larger wreath. So now I'm going to connect the two and then finish up with this part. I'm just about done my little centerpiece. Uh, it ended up looking like a little mini Christmas tree. And here's the finished product. Okay, so this is my final wreath. I ended up using two different kind of um, needles here, a lot of dry materials, and just a nice burlap ribbon.